Hello Divas, it's another week with Mischievous Mondays and Diva and the Diamonds. And this week our theme comes from Warren and it is vision boards. So I have to admit I didn't really understand um, what the whole vision board concept was and so I did a little research. I found an amazing article on Oprah which I will post a link below so you can check it out about vision boards and how to do them and how it works and I definitely think it's a really cool concept I actually think it maybe it's something we should you know do every once in a while um, because that is part of the process like you get better as you do more vision boards and this is just my first one so for my vision board I decided to start pretty small um, I went to the craft store and I just purchased a drawing pad it looks like this, 9 inches by 12 inches. Basically what you do is you just go ahead and flip through a magazine and see which pictures really pop out to you. What are the ones that kind of have this gut reaction and you're not supposed to really think about it. So initially when I thought about a vision board I thought I'm going to put all these things I want you know, in my life on my vision board and that's really not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to just more like look through images and see what pops out to you and cut out a whole bunch of pictures and just paste them down and not be so focused on like oh I want to like have more money or like a dream house or you know whatever it is for you that you're wanting so that was kind of nice and it was actually a lot of fun to just go through a magazine and cut out some pictures that I liked and then basically I had some Mod Podge um, which was great to just use a brush and just kind of mod podge on the back and then put it on this piece of paper. And also in that article they said that with a vision board, you know, you just do it and then you put it away. It's not something that has to be gorgeous and beautiful that you like look at all the time. Um, that's also something that was different than my impression was like with a vision board I thought you would make it really pretty and then look at it all the time and then your life would end up being like the vision board. Um, sh the author of this article really said just do the vision board, set it aside, and she found that maybe years later she would go back and it's more like your subconscious making decisions that will, you know, get you to these different places in the vision board. And she has a really cool story about something that she put in a vision board that then like years later ended up happening in a way that's not at all what you expect. So I really liked the concept, and here is my first vision board. So um, like I said, basically I was just picking images I liked, and I just paste them on this piece of paper, and uh, I don't think it's gorgeous, but it was definitely fun, and I feel like it was definitely therapeutic, so highly recommend it. We all should do <laughs> therapeutic things in our lives, because we're so busy and we don't take the time to do that kind of thing. A couple of lines I liked, don't mask me, I finally found balance in my life, beauty inspiration, and then a whole bunch of pictures that I just liked. Yeah, I would love to hear um, if you give the vision board thing a try, you know, how does it work, do you have any cool stories, definitely comment below. It's been a week, um, I still have my cold, and I think I'm totally giving it to people at work. <laughs> Oops. But I feel like I'm on the mend. I feel like I'm getting better. My event of the week is rude Oregonian drivers at the gas station. I'm going to Seattle, so I tried to fill up my car so I won't have to get gas and then end up using a quarter of a tank driving all over the creation. So then I had to go back to the gas station. Both times, two very rude middle-aged men cut in front of me at the gas station. I mean, we're all in line at the gas station. You know that I was there before you because you were there. And I don't see why you think you're so important that you should cut in front of other people. It's so rude and it makes me so angry. And I just feel like, is it Oregon? Are people just not nice here? Are they rude? I don't know. I lived in Missouri for a long time and it just makes me think maybe I need to move to the Midwest. I mean, I actually kind of wanted to move to California, and I know people are probably even ruder down there. 
So, but at least then I would expect it. Like, oh, it's California. It's insane. The traffic's crazy. People are rude. People are going to cut you off. But I feel like in Oregon, like, since I grew up here, people should be nice. And they're not. And that is my event of the week. Middle-aged men cutting in front of me at the gas station. I know you have things going on in your life. I know things may not be doing so well for you right now. But that is no reason to cut in front of other people in line. I mean, wait your turn. I'm sure none of these middle-aged men are watching my video, which is fine. But we all know. Wait your turn in line. Don't be a cutter. Be a good person. Like, that counts for something. The biggest risk is not taking any risk. And that is from Mark Zuckerberg. I believe of Facebook fame. Take some risks this week. Um, but be nice. And I hope you have a fabulous week. Oh, also, I got my nails done, and I feel like they're really pretty. I really like them. They remind me of The Little Mermaid because they're very, like, pretty sparkly turquoise green. And my ring matches.